What's going on, Arizona Sports Fan family? Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Today, what I want to talk about is the latest acquisition for the Arizona Cardinals. And before you ask, yes, that is a mustache on my face. I ended up losing a bet on the NFC West Network, if you're curious. We are going live today at 6 p.m. Arizona time. Definitely go ahead and tune in. It is going to be in the description of this video if you want to subscribe on over to that channel. But let's dive right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about the latest acquisition from the Arizona Cardinals. The, the latest Arizona Cardinal acquisition, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get some fire emojis? We are winning the Super Bowl, everybody. Let's freaking go. Linebacker, Camus, uh, whatever, Slash Hill is signing with the Arizona Cardinals per source. He led the Texans with 108 tackles. Oh my God, we're going to the Super Bowl. Let's go. Who? All right, everybody, welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, today what I want to specifically talk about is the latest acquisition from the Arizona Cardinals, and that is Camus Grigio Hill. I don't really know how to pronounce his name 100% because I don't really know who he is, to be honest with you. Now, let me paint a picture for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the trade deadline, and yes, it did end at 1 p.m., Arizona time on Tuesday and I was hoping that the Arizona Cardinals at least made some sort of move but nothing happened now there was a lot of teams that didn't make any moves but you would think and hope that the Arizona Cardinals would at least make some sort of attempt to uh, make a move now when the trade deadline ended up you know expiring and no more trades were going through Adam Schefter from ESPN ended up dropping a I'm not gonna say a bombshell but basically breaking news that the Arizona Cardinals are acquiring linebacker Camus Grigio Hill um, and this is exactly what he says so linebacker Camus Grigio Hill is signing with the Arizona Cardinals per source Grigio Hill led the Texans with 108 tackles and 13 TFLs in 2021 and had started all six games for them in the 2022 prior to requesting his release last week. Now, I've, everything looks, I, I'm not going to say it looks good, right? But it sounds good, right? On, on paper. But I mean, truth be told here, ladies and gentlemen, I don't understand why we are consistently getting linebacker after linebacker after linebacker. It's just, it's just something that obviously Steve Kime can't, you know, he, he just can't stop. Like it's it's a, it's a sickness with Steve Kime. It, it really is. Um, now, granted, yes, we did get another player. I honestly don't think we're gonna see him very much, right? If you look at our linebacking core, at least right now, it seems to be pretty crowded. Now it is being led by obviously Zayvon Collins and Isaiah Simmons and Ben Newman and, and 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 the other linebackers that we have. So it's kind of a weird move. I don't know. I feel like it was kind of made just because like just to make it. I don't know if he's going to make the 53-man roster. I'm not sure if he's going to be in the practice squad. At least as of right now, we don't really have too much information on Camus Grigio Hill. It's just... I don't know, y'all. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on this whole situation. Now, granted, when I when you saw my live reaction on live, like literally, I said, "Who, like, who the heck, like, who is this?" Right, and it's true, right? A lot of fans kind of felt the same way, right? No moves made from the Arizona Cardinals, but wait, right? Here comes the breaking news that a lot of people have been waiting for, and it just was a complete disappointment from the Arizona Cardinals organization and Steve Kime in the front office. So, let me know what your guys' thoughts. Put everything in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, and go Cards.